Okay, I've had quite a few people asking how to build my simple SEC circuit. Now, this is the bare bones circuit here. It's a very simple oscillator just using two components, a trigger transformer and a transistor. Now, this is what you need to build the circuit. You need a breadboard, a 9 volt battery, a 1 ohm resistor to measure the input current, a transistor, and that can be a BC182, a 2N2222 or a MPSA06. You need four jumper wires and you need a trigger transformer. Now the best source for a trigger transformer is probably a disposable camera. When you strip them down, you end up with a circuit board like this. Now the trigger transformer is usually blue or yellow and the output pin is on the top of the trigger transformer and there's usually like a uh, brass copper bar connecting to a xenon bulb at the top. Now that's your output pin and they're usually only soldered with two pins on the bottom. So use a uh, desolder pump and remove that carefully and once you've got it off solder three little uh, leads onto those pins so you end up with three leads so you can actually put that into the prototyping board and check for continuity between all three pins of your multimeter you need a multimeter and you need to make one of these which is a detector for the, uh, the, the field which surrounds this device it's the only way to see the field now is what it is it's an Avramenko plug which is made by getting two diodes facing in opposite directions which are these two here I'm using I think it's a uh, 4148 and you twist two, two, uh, the, the ends of the diodes together here and then you just put an LED across the other end here observing polarity and then get a crock lead and just hoop it onto the, uh, the twisted end like that. So you need this to actually see the field which is uh, produced by this device. You need five crock leads and two bowls. Right, we'll start the build. So the first thing I do is to get my transistor, it's a 2N222, and I'm putting it into the breadboard with the emitter to the left. And just make sure you get them all into separate uh, rows. Now I'll take my first jumper lead and put that in the emitter slot. I'll take my next jumper lead and put that into the slot next to it which is the base. I'll make, now take my trigger transformer and I've worked out that basically the output pin on these blue ones, the pin directly underneath it is the positive input of the trigger transformer. So I'm going to put the other pin, the negative, to the collector of the transistor. And we're going to put the positive of the trigger transformer into a separate row of holes. Now the output of the trigger transformer I'm going to put into a, a set of holes up here. Now I'll take another jumper lead and I'll put that on the positive of the trigger transformer there. And my last jumper lead goes to the output of the trigger transformer. Now I take my first crop lead and that one tin and I connect that to the base I take another crop lead and I connect that to the emitter and that goes to the negative of the battery Take another crock lead and the second tin and connect that to the output of the trigger transformer and then that connects to the tin. I'll take my one ohm resistor and I've got my multimeter here and I'll put that across the multimeter. This is to read the current going through the circuit and it also helps you to uh, see that the circuit is running. And I'll take another jumper uh, crock lead to the positive of the battery and then to one side of the one ohm resistor. I'll take my last crock lead and I'll take that from the other side of the one ohm resistor and I'll take that up and put that onto the positive of the trigger transformer. Now that's the circuit built. Now to start it, I take the output uh, uh, tin and the base tin and they're touching with my hand like that. You can see the meter has started reading this current flowing through the circuit. Now if I take my detector 
and hold it, you can see that it's, there's, a, there's a field surrounding this device and this is the only way you can see it. Now it's drawing 97.2 milliamps but there's a way to get this down because this is the bare bone circuit now this is just a, the oscillator part. Now I'll show you another circuit. Now you can add this on to the bare bones part. So this is the bare bone circuit but if you add this part on here like that is what it is is two Avramenko plugs now they basically connect to the positive and the negative of the battery now I've got it running into two uh, inductors on each Avramenko plug now these are optional you don't need those but I find it helps but you don't need those if you haven't got them so basically, it's the same setup with the Avramenko plug, two diodes facing the opposite, opposite directions and an LED string in between. I'm using nine LEDs. And most importantly, you've got to use a virtual ground here. It's just a crock lead connected to the negative of the last LED in the string. Now, that leads to an aluminium tray or a pot. And you need this because basically is what this does is it draws current through the, through the string and this was what gets the LEDs lighting. So that's the add-on. And I'll just show you that in operation. So I've got some LEDs in an LED board here, and these are my inductors, Avramenko plug, LED string, going into virtual grounds up here. Now, if I take that, and I'll just plonk that onto the positive there, and look at those LEDs. Now, I'll take it from the other side and I'll put that onto the, sorry, that was on the negative and this is going on the positive. That side's lit up. Now, current uh, draw is controlled by moving this base pot away from the, uh, the output pot. So we're on 96 milliamps now. They're nice and bright, those LEDs. You can move that away like that. And it's just, if it goes out like that, just touch them together with your hand and it comes back on again. And by moving that pot away from the output pot, it decreases the amp draw. Okay, so I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.